Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, you're going to learn the steps to change the mouse scrolling direction on Windows 11. For this lesson, you will be modifying the registry. And since modifying this database can cause issues, it is recommended to create a full backup of your computer before proceeding. Okay, let's dive into the steps to change the scroll direction on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, the first option that I'm going to show you is using the settings app. It is important to know that this feature is still under the development through the Windows Insider program, more specifically through the Canary channel. But eventually this feature will become available to everyone. Okay, to change the scrolling direction on your computer, do this. Open Start and look for Settings. Now go to Bluetooth and Devices, and then open the Mouse Settings. Under the scrolling section, you're going to see this option. And from here, you can choose how you want the scrolling direction to work. By default, if you do a down motion, it will scroll down. However, you can change it to down motion to scroll up. Once you do that, the motion for the mouse wheel is going to change according to your selection. Now, for the second option, you will need to modify the registry. And to reverse the scrolling direction using this method, do this. First, open Start and look for Device Manager and open the app. Open the Mice and Other Pointing Devices section. And in here, right click on the mouse and select the Properties option. Then go to Details and from this menu, select the Device Instance Path. And then take note of the VID number, which is this one right here, all the way to here. We are going to need this number to identify the mouse in the registry. So we can move this to the side and then open Start and look for the registry. Now make sure to go to this path. H key local machine system current control set ENUMHID. And in this particular case, we have these two VIDs. So we're going to look for the ones that ends on MI underscore zero one which is this one right here. And then we're going to open this folder. Then we're going to select the device parameters folder. And in here, we're going to, and in here, we're going to right click on this key. And then we're going to select the modify option. And here we're going to change the value from zero to one. Then click OK. And now you can restart the computer for the settings to take effect. I know that it's hard to tell, but the uh, direction of the mouse now has changed. Now, if you want to revert the changes that you've done through the registry, you will need to open the registry one more time and just follow the path to the same location and then modify this key and change the value from one to zero and restart the computer for the settings to apply. Now, in the case that you're looking to change the scrolling direction, but you're using a touchpad, then do this. This will work on all versions of Windows 11. First, open Start and look for Settings. Then go to Bluetooth and Devices. Then scroll down and open the touchpad page. In here, click on Scroll and Zoom. And then on a scrolling direction, make sure to select the motion that you want to use with the touchpad to scroll up or down. And those are three ways to change the scrolling direction on Windows 11. Remember that the settings to change the mouse scrolling direction through the settings app is still under development at the time of this video. So if you want to use that option, you need to have a computer enrolled in the Canary channel through the Windows Insider program. However, you can use the registry method on virtually any version of Windows 11, also on previous versions, including Windows 10. And the option to change the touchpad scrolling direction is available on all versions of Windows. Let me know in the comments. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.